Hi and welcome to chendu.org. In this very quick video demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can visualize half a million complaints uh, data. Uh, this is actually just a quick demo. The full article is available on chendu.org. So in case you're watching this on Facebook or YouTube, uh, just head over to the link in the description for the full description about this uh, analysis as well as the methodology thinking and other aspects behind it. So as you can see, the, the chart I'm using here is called as a tree map. It is a new chart introduced in Excel 2016. Uh, obviously not everybody is going to have access to Excel 2016 right away so in case you are using an older version of Excel you can still go to the article where we talk about other techniques for visualization including uh, techniques like uh, column charts and conditional formatting heat maps so let me very quickly do a demonstration of this what we have here is a heat map that shows the the top 25 issues that customers face when they are dealing with the financial institutions. So this data is publicly available data on uh, data.gov website. This is a United States uh, government website where they put a lot of public data for open data initiative. So people can take the data, do their own analysis and understand what's going on with uh, various public institutions. So what we have here is the data for uh, five full years from 2011 to 2015, uh, six years of data and then uh, some more in 2016 as well and uh, there is a lot of data, more than half a million rows of data in, in the data tab all I have done is taken one slice of data, the, the data that pertains to the issues raised by customer and I'm trying to visualize here. So there are other analysis possible and uh, we are doing a series of articles on shandu.org uh, where in each article we get into this data set and uh, come up with the different day visualizations and analysis. So let's uh, play with this for a bit. We have some slicers and timelines here uh, using which you can filter the chart and instantly the tree map changes. For example, I want to understand what are the issues faced by customers when they are using using consumer loans. So you can click on it and you can see there are not even 25 issues, only 18 issues are there. So those 18 are highlighted. And uh, you could read that uh, managing the loan or lease seems to be the biggest issue, followed by problems when you are unable to pay. And then you have your taking out the loan or lease uh, is the third issue. Likewise, if you select something like mortgage, you, you have loan modification, collection and foreclosure as the main issue. Uh, and if you want to drill down further, for example, you want to see what happens in Connecticut, you can do that. You can you can see what the issues are there in Connecticut. And you can, you can go and see what happened in Q4 of 2015 alone. So you can select that and uh, the the issues will change. So you would get a sense of uh, out of all these half a million rows of data, lots of data, right? Uh, we are quickly able to narrow down to few hundred or few thousand rows that matter to us. It could be a certain type of product category or, or a state or a geographical region or even a period of time and look at the number of complaints made within that bucket so that you could do uh, analysis like, okay, if this is the pressing issue in this particular time window and this particular product category, we are going to do this like, you know, launch a um, a customer education campaign or offer customers a better explanation or uh, create better documentation for our product so people can use or offer an FAQ or self-service section on our website so people don't even have to complain. So those are the kind of things that can be done but if you look at all the raw data yourself you wouldn't be able to figure out that. So that's where a visual analysis with the tools like uh, tree maps or conditional formatting or or column or bar charts is very, very powerful. Okay, uh, for more narrative and explanation about these techniques, please visit shendu.org where we are discussing about this data set all through this week. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, see you again very soon.